What's up guys? Um, man, it has been a wild, wild few months. Um, I'll make this video and kind of catch all up to speed. Exciting things, big things, big changes for our family, for our life, for our ministry, for my channel, all of the above. So uh, for this video, I'll keep it kind of short um, and I'll probably go in depth in other videos, but this is, I got a lot of things that I want to do, but um, it is, uh, today is Friday, uh, December 31st. So uh, this has been kind of a long time coming. I'm sorry I, I didn't capture a lot of the process up until this point on a lot of our move, um, but it has been crazy. I've been focused on my family. And so, but I wanted to tag in with you guys, give you a brief update, and then, um, cause you're gonna see some changes here on my channel. But long story short, huge story short, we have moved from Houston to St. Louis. Um, I've accepted a position with the North American Missions Department of the uh, United Pentecostal Church International, which is headquartered here in St. Louis. So our family relocated here to St. Louis. My uh, job title uh, for NAM, which is North American Missions, the NAM department is promotions coordinator. So, um, and this, this is not at all an ex exhaustive look at what I'm doing, but I'm um, kind of overseeing the execution of uh, production and things like you know, um, the videos that we produce, how we market our different things. The big thing that we do is a, a fundraiser called Christmas for Christ, which uh, raises funds to help church planners. Um, it, it helps a lot of other things, but we have a couple of conferences. So the way we speak, the things that we post, how we look, our resources, how we design educational resources, promotional resources, ads in different uh, publications, flyers, graphics, all that kind of is gonna fall under my purview, um, along with a lot of other just ways that I can help uh, the director of promotions, which is um, Kenneth Stewart, and then our uh, director, uh, which is Scott Sistrunk. So uh, Brother Stewart, Brother Sistrunk, incredible men of God, excited to be a part of that. So that's the exciting part. The, the bittersweet and, and unbelievable part is obviously leaving Royalwood, which I know you guys are, are probably going to be bummed about just because you love seeing the content from Royalwood. And I'm going to do an entire video, I think, specifically about Royalwood because I, I, I still, even months removed from, uh, a couple months removed from that context, just can't even wrap my mind around not being there in some ways. But I'll just say this, man, it's a completely out of the blue opportunity. Um, but I had been um, praying with uh, Pastor Macy, uh, who's still my pastor, um, just about... Um, our next step, our life, and just feeling like you know God was, was pushing us. And the best way I can say it is we, we loved Roywood, loved what we were doing, had no desire to leave, but yet just felt in our spirit that um, that God was, was pushing me. That's the best way to say it. I wasn't uncomfortable or unhappy. We, we love Anthem, love Roywood, love the people. Our best friends are there. Um, our life was there, our heart. Both of our girls were born in Houston. Um, and again, I'm not gonna go into that. It's a different video, but but anyways, we, we just felt in our spirit that God was pushing us towards something, and and this call came out of the blue, this opportunity, uh, and after counseling Pastor Macy, he felt like, man, I believe this could be, uh, if you feel it, could be a great opportunity, uh, step forward in your ministry, and so we just trusted God, and, and we're here in St. Louis now. Uh, many of you know my dad serves as the general superintendent of the UPCI, so there's a lot of people joking with me over the years, like, when are you going to move to St. Louis? My answer was always no, like... I, you know, didn't see that in, in my in my life or ministry, and I always felt like, um, you know, what I was doing local church context was what God had called me to do. Um, and but man, when this opportunity came, and listening to the heartbeat of North American missions and what we're trying to do here, helping churches, helping church planners, helping pastors, equipping people with resources, um, man, I'm really excited to be on board, and I believe that that God is in it. So we're here in St. Louis. Uh, so we moved. Man, I'm trying to remember the timeline now. We moved the last week of October, started November 1st at NAM, and uh, so we've been here for two months now, um, and uh, we are attending New Life St. Louis here in uh, St. Louis uh, with Pastor Aaron Bachelor, um, and really excited to be a part, um, exciting church, a great ministry, um, so we're really excited to, to be involved. Um, I'm going to be traveling some for NAM, so my schedule's going to be a little bit different, Whereas before, you know, at Royalwood, it was like I was there on Sundays, like that was my focus. I would miss a couple of Sundays a year, maybe, 
for ministry trips, but now um, you know a lot of my ministry is going to be traveling on weekends. So kind of remains to be seen exactly what our flow is going to be like. But we're plugging right in. We've been here for two months, and I'm actually playing this Sunday, which we're going to talk about later. Um, but we're going to New Life St. Louis. Excited about that. We bought a home here in the St. Louis area. We love it. And you're going to learn more about this. But I have rented a studio space. I say I use the word studio loosely. This is an open warehouse. It's a big room in a warehouse. As you can hear, it's just wide open. But I'm excited. Got all my gear here all moved in. We'll get into that in a second. But wanted to give you guys that intro. Man, I, I know it's like that's a ton of life content into just a few short minutes. But um, in a nutshell, we're excited to be in St. Louis, excited for this opportunity. We love our Royalwood family. And, uh, you know, we're committed to staying connected um, because, you know, how can you say goodbye to a place that, you know, is your home? How do you say goodbye to a place that has your heart? How do you say goodbye to your family and friends um, that God has brought into your life? And so truly, uh, I think in the kingdom of God, it's not really goodbye, but, um, but see you later in the sense of, you know, we're going to be connected through conferences and maybe weekend trips and just being friends. I think we made lifelong friends in Houston and have lifelong friends in Houston that uh, just because our geography has changed doesn't mean that our relationship will change. So anyways, I can't get off into that because I'll get super sentimental, but today the focus um, is going to be getting this, this space set up as much as I can, figuring out what my next steps are. Uh, so we're going to kind of rewind now in time to when I came and checked the space out. And we're going to move on to a couple of things here we're going to cover in this massive, massive vlog. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it. What's up guys? Today um, I am heading to a spot, uh, a meeting for a potential rental for a drum studio. So really excited about this. Uh, this would be a big deal if it works out for me here in St. Louis um, because I need a place to record. Uh, the church that we're going to be attending, um, I mean they have a drum set obviously in the setup, but I'm not sure if they multi-track and then... Um, you know, also just want to have my own space. So I'm going to this meeting about a potential rental. Um, it's an unfinished um, building. So the cons are, I think it doesn't have heat, but you can see I've got my, my winter coat. I bought a winter coat, Houstonian. Never needed a winter coat before, now I do. Um, it does not have heat in it. So it's gonna be cold, which is fine. I can get a space heater, I'm not really worried about me actually being cold, I'm more worried about my gear. Um, you know, getting cold, is that gonna be a huge issue if it drops? You know, I don't think the building is gonna get like, um, you know, freezing, freezing. Uh, I think they have some heat to keep, you know, pipes from busting and stuff. Uh, they have some plumbing, I believe. But um, sometimes they put space heaters in there, they said, and different things. So I don't know, I'm gonna do a little more research. Obviously, it's not ideal for drums to get that cold and then to warm up, get cold and warm up. Um, so, um, I don't know. That's the only thing I'm kind of looking into, but we're gonna see how viable this space is. I uh, figured I'd bring you guys along. This is gonna be a big step for me, uh, kind of getting settled, getting my content back on track here in St. Louis. So, figured you guys would be interested to see the results of this potential rental space. I think this space is going to be sick. Um, it's a warehouse space that I can rent. And it's just this big open room. So check this out. How cool is this? That's a massive room. Uh, and I can paint this wall if I need to. But I can set up here. It's going to be loud. Like it's definitely going to be, you know, Sound wise, not the best, but it's a space, it's got electricity, and uh, it's a huge win for me. So yeah, we're gonna be setting up in here, in this warehouse space. So this is gonna transform into, it's a nice dolphin uh, motivation there, communication, success, goals, make it happen, challenges, team. It's great, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be good. Here we go. Guys. I've got so much ground to cover. I literally don't even know where to start. So what's interesting about this video, uh, at least the way I see it in my mind now, the final production of this is, 
at the filming of this, this is the, the first thing I'm filming in this whole process. As far as my YouTube channel goes, you guys don't know anything about what's transpired. So I think the, the chronological order of this video is going to be weird versus the time that I filmed it. So today is Thursday, December 30th at 1.05 p.m. So today's a big day. Uh, I um, it was kind of a, a slower week at the office, so I've been going in early in the morning, getting work done, and then coming home, working remote, finishing up projects at home. So today I am um, trying to get all of my stuff to the drum warehouse. So again, you guys don't know this at the time of filming this, but probably earlier in the video you will know this, earlier in this video, but I've um, rented, secured a, a, a space in a warehouse that I'm going to convert into a drum studio. Really excited about it. I think it's going to be great. But I've just got tons of gear. I've got, you know, when I was at Royalwood, it was like gear in my office, gear in, you know, Anthem that I was using, gear in the music storage, gear on stage, gear in the production booth. So I've tried to consolidate all that stuff. So today, two big things we're getting into. Moving into the uh, warehouse, and then uh, I'm actually going up to the church, the church that we're attending, New Life St. Louis, incredible church, awesome pastors, um, great music director, and I'm going up there. I'm playing this Sunday, first Sunday I'm playing here, and um, sorry, I've got like a, I've been burping, I've got this, I don't know if you ever had this, Summit Cola, makes you burp. Um, me and the music director, we're going to get some rehearsal in, so I'm taking my cymbals up, be my first time sitting on the kit, kind of get acclimated today, getting prepared for Sunday. So, those are the two big things, moving into the warehouse and getting prepared for Sunday. Um, so, I bought this little GoPro harness. A little like chest mount. Uh, I'm gonna just strap that on my chest and film me packing up. I got a lot of stuff packed in the truck already, um, but I've got a lot of gear here to pack and then drums to pack. So, a lot of big stuff. Figured I'd go ahead and start filming, um, and I'm gonna jump in later today and go back and explain tons of stuff. So, you guys probably already know everything by this point in the video, but at the point of filming this, I haven't told you anything. So, again, timeline's kind of messed up, but. I'm gonna get my lunch, I'm gonna get this GoPro going, I'm gonna pack up, and we're gonna go. Ah, <sighs> guys. Okay, so that was 36 minutes of loading up. Let me tell you what. 36 minutes when you're just straight moving gear 
Feels like a long time. All right, so it's two o'clock. Uh, I'm not gonna try to keep Nathan waiting all day, but my goal is to get over to the warehouse, which I'm gonna work on a better name for that. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have a good name for it. Get over to the warehouse, unload, get what I need, go to the church, get some rehearsal time in, go home, load up the truck for load number two, even though I may not get it over tonight, I'm going to get the load over tomorrow morning because office is closed because it's a holiday, so I'm trying to use that to my advantage. So, onward we go. Okay, so I've unloaded all my gear. At least the first round of stuff that I've got. And I'll go show you kind of where I'm at. Still got the GoPro running, so doing time lapse, which you already saw it, you just saw it. Uh, man, I'm tired, y'all. I'm old slider here you may have seen this on instagram if you follow me on instagram got this motorized slider which you guys are super familiar with but i lost the cable for it somehow in the move i lost the cable for this slider and now it doesn't work so uh, here we are friends Whew. it's my studio space like that look at this communication success goals dolphin picture Make it happen, challenges, teamwork, you know, whatever. Uh, so this is the majority of my gear here. Cymbal stands, drums. Look how many duffels I have. One, two, three, four, five, six duffels. Pelican cases, this is the Tama kit. That's a product review I've got to do. That's new cymbal, studio speakers, the backpack, my Pelican case. New mic stands. I got new gear here, which I'm gonna dig into. New recording gear. Um, it's a different video. Um, so yeah. So first round of unloading is done. Here in the studio, which I don't know, I think I'm gonna call it room four or blue door. Vote in the comments. What do you guys want me to start referring to it as? I'm gonna head over to blue door studios room four studios or the warehouse head over to blue door room four or the warehouse trying to decide what i want to call it so i got my time lapse going i think my battery's going to die so i'm going to grab um a gopro battery got some clamps because i'm going to record a little bit maybe a rehearsal i don't know at the church um yeah the majority of the sweat work is done i think i'm going to set up here in the corner uh, got to get some storage stuff, some lighting, some aesthetics. I'm going to have to really lean into the warehouse sound because there's no ceiling in here. So it's going to be crazy loud. Um, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it, which is fine. I'm just going to lean into that sound and make the best of it. Things going to be great. I may paint the floor, paint the walls. I'm going to see what they'll let me do. If not, I may just do some rugs. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to be a work in progress, but um, yeah, it's 3.15 now, so I'm going to zip over to the church, get some rehearsal done, probably go home for the night, be back at it early in the morning, but whew, we're getting there. Okay, today is Friday the 31st, about to be 2022. It's 9.45, uh, spent some time with the fam this morning, and I picked up some storage uh, pieces last night uh, for the studio and the rest of my drum gear. So heading back over to the studio um, to begin setting up kind of the set. So. You know, it's a rough like warehouse aesthetic. So instead of trying to make it perfect, because I'm not gonna be able to do that, um, and this may not be like a long-term um, 
you know, agreement. So um, I'm just going to lean into the whole warehouse vibe. I may paint the walls black. I'm not really sure what's going to look like yet, but I'm going like tools. So my storage units, like for all my gear and camera gear, I'm going like craftsman toolboxes, right? Shelving. So I'm just gonna lean into that. You know, same thing with like acoustics. I'm sure people are gonna ask like, how are you gonna make it sound good? How can you dampen it? There's no way. I mean, it's a massive room, just completely bare everything. Concrete floor, bare walls, open ceiling. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to combat that. So I'm just gonna lean into that sound um, and just gonna mix from there and see how, how I can make it sound. So we're gonna go over there. And today I'm really gonna try to get set up, get comfortable, and then tomorrow, um, hopefully I can focus on content and tracking. So good progress, but man, it's, it's a lot of work. Okay, so got all my stuff loaded in. This is stuff I was telling you about. I bought this, uh, some Craftsman drawers, and then this is a big shelf. I think my main shot is going to be like a corner shot. I think I want to do like that. Um, I think it'll give some more depth to the overall shot. But now I'm going to film, set up kind of a shot here to film. I guess it's the intro, like of this video, maybe a different video. Okay, I'm not really sure. I got, I have three concepts, right? I've got this this vlog concept, the Sunday service, you know, video, and then kind of just a video telling you guys what's happening. Like y'all need a setup to all this first. So. I'm gonna shoot that, um, I think, really quick, and then I'm gonna start getting everything set up. All right, so I just finished filming this kind of like intro, um, the intro for this video, or maybe a separate video if I decide to split them out. But again, I got all this stuff here. So I think I'm gonna kind of set this shot up and get a time lapse going, and I'm just going to dig in. So really, again, my focus is going to be setting up kind of the scene, right? So, but it's dual purpose. I'm gonna set up the, the scene um, behind me, which is also storage, so it's functional, but hopefully visually the aesthetic is gonna be cool. And then um, next I'm gonna actually set up the kit and hopefully if I can get to it, I'm gonna get the recording. I'm gonna unbox all my tracking, new tracking gear, which I'm gonna talk about and probably make that a separate video, but I got new gear um, and yeah, so it's gonna be good. A lot of work and hopefully I can capture it all in a way that makes sense because I got a lot of stuff to do, so here we go.
Well, I'm done for today. Uh, man, super productive time. I know you guys just saw the time lapses, but um, I've got the tracking station set up here, and then I've got a small mixing desk here, which is gonna be good. Then I've got another table here for, these are the products I've got to review, sliders, other stuff like that. So I've got four, uh, four videos on deck. So I just tracked a little bit, and um, man, I'm excited. It's uh, it's definitely roomy, but man, I think this shot is going to be money. It's hard to see. Let me turn these lights out. It's hard to see right now uh, because I don't have this front light. But I think that man, this shot is going to be so money, dude. When I get this some lights up in here, I have a. I mean, I've got lights, but they're all. Man, the low light on this camera is crazy. I've got lights, but they are not big. I need a big light source. If you know anything about video, I need a big light source so that it can be a really soft, just good looking light, really nice, pleasant shadows. Um, but yeah, you can see over here, I've got kind of the drum rack set up. I've got like a light there, a little work light there. This is that microphone that uh, I'm looking forward to using. Some of these are my old. Fire Studios there, old Ludwig Acrolyte, other things here. So this, I've got this organized. Um, this is like just random stuff, tools in here, um, clamps, extra clamps in here, and then cables in there, power cables, top drawers, other microphones, microphones I'm not using, stuff like that. I'll turn this light back on for you. Microphones that aren't currently on the kit. Second drawer is video stuff, extra video knickknacks, lenses, camera stuff. Third drawer is uh, additional power, and then fourth drawer is just like junk. Right now, I've got the rack mounted set up here, the two um, Euphoria interfaces, and then the power play there. This is my battery bank under here, which I may end up doing this like on a tabletop, but for now, that's my portable battery setup. Um, I got extra stands over here, and then all the duffels, which are mostly cleared out, at least of all the useful stuff. Um, so, yeah, it is 5.50. So I'm about to head home. It's New Year's Eve. Get some family time in. Really excited about that. But thankful I was able to get a ton done today. Um, this, this was a really productive day. Hopefully track some tomorrow. Uh, and get ready for Sunday tomorrow as well. So, yeah, feeling really good at this point about what we've got so far. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I got the studio set up for a product review today. Um, it is Saturday, January 1st, so happy new year to everybody. I'm using the Sennheiser E609 for my little talking mic today instead of the built-in mic. Um, so, I don't know, just to give it a different look, sound a little bit better maybe. Um, this room is obviously super wide open, but uh, I'm doing a review of some like a wireless uh, pack, in-ears. Excited about it, it seems to be like a, a company that tailors their stuff towards the worship space, and it's kind of that um, uh, more inexpensive price point. So this is not an expensive um, piece of gear. So I'm excited to see how well it works and um, if it's usable for my purposes. So yeah, I just wanted to hop in and say what's up. Uh, I'm gonna record some of the content today, but this is the video that I need to get done is the video about the Phoenix Pro, um, which, I'll put the card up here, but it is the PTM10. So, PTM10 uh, wireless pack. So yeah, should be good. Hey, what's up guys? So, it is now January 6th. I'm editing all this content, and in doing so, I realized that there's like over an hour of stuff. So I'm breaking this into three parts. Number one, you just saw, which is new studio and move. Number two, I'm gonna be talking about all of the new interfaces and the mics that I use for my YouTube videos, so be on the lookout for that. And then number three, the third piece is gonna be rehearsal and my first Sunday uh, at New Life St. Louis. So, hope it makes sense. Breaking it up in a three-part vlog. Stick around for all of it. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you guys in the next one.